I mentioned here, we are back in trying here. And one more video in a row. <laughs> Main in you into shoot some bad guys. Weird demonic presence. Someone is behind me, or uh, yeah, all right. Don't mind if I could increase this flashlight a little bit. I should try to check that for the future times. Yeah, there we go. Two enemies more spawning there. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. <laughs> Please follow UAC procedures. Even with the lights on, it's uh, uh, itch black. Very nice looking, but it's very itch black here. So again, this is the ultimate uh, HD mod for this game. And it was based on like RB... Or Doom or something like that. That that is uh, this is using an older one, but the newer one should have better performance. Hopefully, this mod gets updated. And also, it was interesting to see that the RBR Doom mod were actually trying, or as as a future goal, maybe introduce some type of ray tracing in this game, which. With all of the lighting and stuff, I can see that could be really interesting. All the lighting and shadows and <laughs> flashing, you know. Plus, that could be really nice reflection also with um, ray tracing. Alright, that's not the way to go. Yeah, yeah, there is one more enemy there. Alright. I... The, the knockback that makes you miss. <laughs> Hello? There we go. Even on the easiest here, the, that enemy, the imp kind of enemy there, takes like two shots to the stomach. So if you don't hit the headshot, you're gonna be, be taking damage, unfortunately. Alright. Uh, oh, all the way over there! don't know probably not gonna go for this because it requires you to read all of this and that's unfortunate you're gonna have to like, read through all of this to kind of try to find uh, what it could be like the codes could be 
I'm hoping that on easy that it's just fine without getting to that. That was a weird thing, felt like I got stuck. Uh, be this way I'm supposed to go, I don't... Help me. No? Maybe not? to try to be a little bit of cautious with your reloading don't try to reload very quickly because it most likely could be an enemy behind you and i don't think you can really interrupt the re reloading animation unfortunately Evil scientist, scientist laugh. <laughs> Enemy close by. All right. I wonder one thing. Things like this does not use the same ammunition as this one. I don't think I'm gonna be when I use the pistol. So. Hopefully again on the easy, that's gonna be no problem, but we'll see. I don't think I can go that way. Big save scamming here. Big guy. Lining are pretty much just on uh, the edge of my mill crosser, so I should really try to look if I can center it a little bit more for the next continuation of this video series or playthrough. Uh, Always trying to sneak enemies here around the corners close to get you in the back there. Another PDA. Gas leak stopped. Fire extinguished. Okay, so now we go the where was that fire thing? We gotta keep everything in memory, fortunately. There is no map. I'm not the best with always remembering. That way I went. I think it was this way. It had the... Yeah. Okay, so we have... Some type of grenade. Uh... I... Oh wait, there's something happened. We don't have different types of grenades, doesn't seem like that. Melee grabber, I never use the melee. <laughs> what is that? Melee. Oh, okay, yeah, we're not gonna use that one.
forgot that every time there's enemies, they are going to try to respawn at least the one behind you. Interesting looking or maybe maybe not, who knows? Okay, well, uh, which way? This way. That was just a little bit of an extra. <laughs> if I see, I can just it. Can't go there. Just a, like a more lower pacing enemy. I try to remember to switch to the gun sometimes. So far, ammunition has been really nice. Not a big problem. Okay, that dropped. Another jump scare thing. Enemy close by. Uh, for safety, take care of those. The one behind? Not yet. Oof. Yeah, you gotta have a... Always on your mind trying to think that... How can they surprise me with an enemy from which direction? And when and how should you reload? It's more of a tactical thing here. Even mine. So many easy places to like have enemies hiding and I don't feel like I could die if I fall down there. And getting stuck on some nice corner, right? Do you have an enemy that I idea was there. I don't know where that enemy did hide itself. Yes, it may be somewhere down by that pillar. Yeah. I'm gonna do a lot of safety saving here because if I get just absolutely walled in a corner, the cool effect. Uh, so that I can have like a backup, not to redo really too much of craziness. Yeah. And very, very small room here for like a ambush fight, and lots of things to like easily get stuck on that little corner things here. 
not the most fun thing for sure. Where did you hide? It was standing here? Or I've looked this way a little bit. I don't know where that guy came from even. You do not have the clearance. Also trying to do some weapon management, <laughs> like utilize the best weapon per enemy. Shotgun is great for imps if you can get uh, get the headshots down. It's quite precise, Hulo. Faster assault rifle. Better for this quick. Um, all right, I'm not sure what I oh. Always gotta check your corners. Oh, he startled me. Man, am I ever glad to see you. I thought it was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The hydra got blown a few circuits and it's unstable. Be careful with that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. If I don't get the Hydrocon operating with an acceptable levels, it could blow. I think I'm supposed to do with that. Get it working. What? Was there an enemy or something? Ah, let's drop down, right? Really need to be uh, precise with this again. Quite a silent game except for like all the ambient no noises. Right, so shotgun works good for those enemies also. You also get a pull off headshots. Weird noise. I'm taking safety precaution there. At 100 HP, the good. It is the easiest mode, so it shouldn't be really too difficult. Um, I do feel, still feel that uh, this isn't going to be your traditional most easy difficult. You're used to more modern games that have an easy settings, they might have a little bit of an easier difficulty than this game has. The easier. Right. You spawn from nowhere. There is nowhere for you to come from. Right. 
Okay, so we have... Again, it would have been nicer if they didn't have these huge pillars here to make this just feel more and more like cramped. Uh, obviously, it might be again personal thing for sure. Yeah, I prefer a little bit more spacious. <laughs> spacious uh, fight uh, rooms than just having the, those really really small corridor shooter here this is definitely one of the games that has like the most no, uh, more or less fighting room or areas you can move around in when shooting What is debris here that you can get stuck on? Yes, it makes the fighting a little bit interesting. Let's leave it on that one. And nothing's gonna be happen here. Yours. Do a quick reload. I'm sure there's gonna be at least a few more enemies in here, yeah. Maybe yeah. Warning. Right, you can't reload while you are going up the uh, ladders. Where am I? I'm loading PDA. Ah, uh, no. Okay, so this is just the camera station security. Doesn't seem like I can do anything for in that room. More enemies coming. very suspicious right I was thinking it was gonna be more of a chaotic scene right there since the dawn of the space age Union Aerospace has been at the forefront of not only developing new technology but pushing those developments to even more Oh, 
Team reports they've located your position but are unable to move to your current location. Head through engineering and try to link up with them in Sector 3. Yo, that seems to be something I'm done. Trying again, yes. Steady progress is my main goal. Yes, the, the basic uh, progression of this game is what I want to experience here. Not the full on exploring, not the hard, hard ways difficult or anything, just And our main basic story thing going. Lots of uh, like, little extra nice like audio things to kind of cue you up for what's gonna happen. That it is a fighting or fight enemy nearby. So playing this obviously with good like headphones or speakers is going to be nice. Don't shoot. Also added to the jump scare horror vibe. Uh, I can help you. The lights are all out. Uh, I'll lead you through here if you can get me off this base. Now we need to electromagnetic pulses have knocked out the electrical systems in this area. Watch out, a big one. Which uh, definitely not been my favorite thing of mission export or missions. There's one, and they have found off my. It seems to be not as effective in this area. Weirdly enough. Stay close. Well, that sucks. It happens. Now, this area area is just even more painfully pitch black than the previous one. No idea where I'm going right now. He was supposed to lead me. That's unfortunate. I might have made it anyway. Again, I have no idea about this ones and yeah, all of this are like going through. Yeah, that's not the, this one. Yeah. Do you need to find like the fine the right PDF or like the right storage cabinet? Sometimes it's gonna be easy to know which one is and sometimes it's it will be more difficult to know which which cabinet you can pass like which code. So
So, uh, again, I have played this part of the game before, but I do not remember where to go. I'm just doing this in blind. <laughs> so far I've been lucky to be able to pretty quickly, nicely progress. But I don't remember, I, I remember a little bit about the levels, not the, the layout of where to go. more of those spiders. The spiders I think is best with dwarf rifle. Again, it's a very so much knockback and this is such a small little fighting room. <laughs> That I really am not I'm not a fan of that for sure. Don't stay uh, right up with your face up on the doors because the good possibility they are having enemy right, you know, on the next side. Oops. Empty firing. All right. There you go. Well, the guy did run that way. So far, progress is being made. Right, okay. A flickering here, unfortunately. Might be, um, call it epileptic. Was epileptic uh, seizures or seizures? You're prone to that. Don't remember how much it was in the region or if. It it's added by the mod, but it's always good to have it like an accessibility option to really turn it off or in a, some cases at least minimize it. You can see there that my crosshair was on that version. When I fired, he hit me first and it went up that, that much. And that's a little bit, you know. Definitely that can be, uh, you're coming from going games that don't have that bit of uh, annoyance. Trying to listen for when the enemies are coming so I know when I can or cannot reload. Be a little bit more tactical here, trying to like this, not like a straight head on crazy fast paced action FPS game. More of a slower one, slower paced one. More of the. This deny. More of the tactical or more. Pacing yourself type of shooting. Uh, right. Um. I know that you did something like this. 
not exactly sure what you... What were you supposed to do here? I don't remember exactly what you were supposed to do here. Okay, we have one. What do you do now? That one? Why that one? Hmm, nothing happened. Toxic gas levels decreased fifty percent. Okay, we need more. Okay. I need to take Okay, I I remember a little bit about this one. So you need to remove these uh, toxic gas cans or barrels. Toxic gas is cleared. Waste disposal area now safe for entry. Three, two, pick up the pace. We got more men down. Bravo team is barely holding their own. So a health refill. Alright, uh, da, da, da. we should save there. Yeah. Right. Area clear. I enter. I have an access card. Ammo. Or it's 47. I don't think I have that one either, so. Um. Yeah, I don't think so. Lockers. <laughs> quick so oh, quick here only one I have is like that one that is easily accessible HP right outside here. You know what? I think I'm good. I think I can do this. What? No? Oh. 
Uh, from locked ingress, proceed with cargo removal. Hello, I think it bugged out. I might have shot that barrel too quick. So let's try this. Quick load, my first one. That felt weird. Like it's not supposed to be like that. Maybe I'm wrong, but it could be. I felt like I might have fired at that barrel a bit too soon. Let's do a quick save right here before we race this one. Just wanted to double check, right? So, platform locked in, proceed with cargo removal. Okay, so maybe I'm not supposed to be... This might just be an extra room here, okay. I need to go a different way. Yeah, let's go back. Yo. We are supposed to go back. We just got the PDA. That was just an extra room. Not this way, right? Oh, that's just that control room. This way. Yes. Double saving. Trying to double check corners before doing a reload. Right, there you go. Uh, uh, yo. uh, all around you. Always double check. Corners. Don't know the code to that one either, so. It's definitely a nice little touch that you can have that. Give you like extra ammunition and stuff like that if you, if you do explore around. And read all of the PDF files so, and videos and stuff like that. Might even be that they are telling you in uh, like a voice thing there. The codes might be. I uh, know. Plausible. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, ah, stuck again. In so much debris and stuff in all of these fight rooms. I, I probably would have enjoyed this more if it just wasn't so clouded with so much crap and killers, <laughs> debris. Because I have to fight so much to just try to 
don't get stuck. Uh, that makes it a little bit harder to focus on just the fight itself. Hear an enemy nearby here, just waiting for chance to jump scare you. Oh crap, it's not what I meant to do. Here's what happened though. can go back here. Right, come on. <laughs> With all the knockback in this corner, on the easy difficulty, we are going to do this quickly. That's why I'm quick saving so much because it is ridiculous how you can just get absolutely unlocked to hell. Even here on the difficult, like this little thing here gets me stuck. It's uh, really makes the shooting here feel quite a frustrating thing to me. Yes, of course, just trying to strafe through this corner, but there is this little thing sticking out, so you have to. Wave right like that, or you will really just get stuck. Let's try to not fall down immediately in just crazy place again check my corners gotta remember that I have the minigun now might be the way that I am supposed to don't know Whoa! Yeah, that was a save in a very good place. That was not me saving right when I got attacked. So I fell down and that got me to this. Two, two enemies just attacking me. Right, so if I do a save here. Might need to do that. Maybe. Okay, this is the right way to enter the room. Right, went better this time.
but because you get stuck so easy and this is a very like narrow and dark and a knockback i think that the, oh give me to double save even uh on the easy difficulty here this might be a little bit more the challenging side than you are expecting for normal normal difficulties like this Like it again. That's a weird, weird kind of enemy encounter here in this room. What the? Oh, wow! You? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to take that. That's too much damage. With the knockback in there and the getting the... Oof. Ah, that is not a good... Oh, more enemies. Right. More enemies coming, or... It's locked. Go back. You, that's good though. It this is broken, so I can't take that one. It's so dark, so I might be missing some corner, some tunnel, some ladder that I might be able to take. Okay, we're supposed to... I guess I was supposed to go to... Just go with that, right? Have the code for that. Maybe I do. Probably not. If we are coming up to end here, this video soon might be a perfect place to stop here, actually. Right? Marine, I was able to locate your position. More constant than getting the malfunction and shut down. Yeah. Reach the Emperor plant as quickly as possible. I seems like here is a nice little place to stop here. Uh, I'm probably gonna go us in another game here in between and i take a reader from this game let's stop here with that and do a save game perfect exit out Oof. It is nice continuing this and we see how far I will get into this game. Hopefully I won't give up. This should be two hours out of maybe no 16, 20 hours, if this is correct. Again, I have played this game and I played it for eight or ten hours, and that was just 50%. That was not using this mod. Um so they, these enemies here might be the more challenging, but it was the normal game, but on the normal difficulty. So yeah, Oof. stay tuned for more. You can follow 
you don't or check back to channel if you don't want to miss that continuation of this series um stay tuned for more let's twice let's plays and stuff like that coming up and great day till next time and bye for now